Hi everyone, today I'd like to show you how to install the Saboteur on Linux using Wine and I'm going to use the GOG version so if you have the origin version just uh, should be the same, okay, the process you just need to install the origin client and actually to be able to install the game then everything else should be, as I say, the same okay, we can start, I'm going to use a 32-bit Wine prefix you can also try with a 64-bit, no big deal I think so wine arch equal win32 wine prefix equal home the saboteur yes then wine and then the path to the installer to the setup uh, binary so games saboteur setup the saboteur dot x. Okay, this point should be should run fine. But if you have problem with the installer, you can just put this option, the no GUI option, which you can use on every Go game that that, that the, the installer has a problem. This basically it uses another graphical interface. So somehow, if the game has some problem, you can try this option here. I'm going to use that because the installer runs just fine. As you can see, it's creating <coughs> the new wine prefix here. And it's going to launch installer. English is fine. And in my case, I always go to option and uncheck the create desktop icon because I don't need it. You can leave it, you can change the the path, the installation path, whatever. Accept the EULA if you want to install the game. And that's it. It's going to take a few minutes and I'll see you as soon as it finished the installation. So, see you later. Okay, that's it. The game installed successfully and I'm not going to launch it. I'm going to exit right now because I want to show you first. I'm going to open a file manager here. I'm going to go to documents, then uh, my games. And uh, actually save uh, files, the configuration files they will be here now uh, a directory called the saboteur is going to be created as soon as I launch the game and then we need to um, to modify the config file for the resolution etc anyway it will be here document doc, uh, documents and my games so at this point I can go back here I don't need the wine archer to bit because it's already 32 bit and I don't need to launch the installer I need the wine prefix, wine, and then I want to launch the game. So, the saboteur, drive C, go games, the saboteur. And then we have here a bunch of binaries. One is video setup, that doesn't work, okay. And it actually looks something like this. You can go PC Gaming Wiki, where you have the resolution, refresh rate, texture quality, etc. And this is very strange because they are not in-game. In-game you have just video, the gamma correct. For the video settings you have just the gamma correction, which is crazy, you know. You have no resolution. to In-game you cannot change anything, basically. Anyway, as I said, you can just modify then the configuration file. So, the game is actually saboteur.exe. Okay, that's it. I'm going to launch it and probably I will have a, a wrong resolution, but it's no problem at the beginning, it's normal. Okay, it doesn't work because I need to actually change directory where the bi game binary is, okay? So the saboteur, drive C, go games, the saboteur, that's it. Let me go back here and uh, delete all this stuff that I don't need anymore. And also this one. 
Okay, so right now I'm going to launch the game. As you can see, it starts. You probably see just a square on my left, upper left corner. I see right now full screen, but with a wrong resolution. But you probably see just a square somewhere. As you can see, the game runs fine. You have to set the gamma correction at the beginning. And by the way, with Wine, the game suffer uh, some low FPS. So it's better if you use like a Wine Staging or Gallium 9. With Gallium 9 works great. I, just, I made a video, you can check it. As you can see now, probably I have like 5 FPS, something like that. And if I go Option, as I say the video, there is just Gamma Correction. I mean, it's crazy. Anyway, let me actually check, no, probably, okay, let me just exit to Windows first and let's see if the configuration file was created. And as you can see, oh, let me go down here, as you can see there is the Saboteur directory here was created in the Documents, my games, and the Saboteur was created right now, but there is still no configuration file. So you actually need to start a game and to save the first time, okay? And then the configuration file will be created. I'm going to do that that right now, but first I want to try if the video video setup works. Let me see. No, doesn't work. Even if you change the the correct directory. So let me. Uh, relaunch the game, but first I'm going to set Gallium 9. Staging enable Gallium 9, and you will see the difference now. Wine Saboteur. It launches with a wrong resolution. Okay, you can skip the intro. And by the way, the game is capped at 60 FPS. That's how it is, so you cannot get more un unless you hack the game, the engine. Except, as you, get, as you can see, the mouse moves way faster. And you, as, as you can see, it's just running fine here, no problems at all. If you go back and check with wine, it was way slower. Anyway, let's go and play and start a new game. Normal is fine. There are a bunch of videos that I'm going to skip right now. And here we are. As you can see, with Gallium 9 just worked. Perfectly. There are some naked girl here. And let me exit and see if the game gets saved. Checkpoint. So I guess the game was saved. Anyway, you can just open the menu and then click on save game and then you save. It's going to save the content. That's it. Alright, I'm going to exit to window now. To Windows, not really, but and here, as you can see, on Save Games, you have the config, and we are going to uh, modify that. I'm going to modify with Nano, and here you can just put your uh, native resolution. All right, so 1920 for me, 1080, and I'm also going to set the vSync to zero. So if you have like a lower spec PC or if, if you want to get the max from this game, you need to modify the this config file. I think that three is the max or two, I don't know actually. You have to to check to try out something here. So shadows, post-processing, 
object quality. I'm just going to leave to the default settings and just going to, um, as I just show you, to modify the VSync and the resolution. And you want to save the file and you can go ahead and relaunch the game. And as you can see now, it launches with the correct resolution. And you are able to continue the game, by the way. Let me skip those videos. And here we are. 1080p, 60fps, works even better than Windows probably. There are no wine tricks needed, as I show you. I There was a... a that was an empty wine prefix, so I installed it from zero. And that's it. As I said, I already did a video, 20 minutes or 30 minutes, whatever. You can check it with the Gallium HUD to see the performances, but really runs great with Gallium 9. And I tried also with uh, wine staging. And if you have a good NVIDIA card, you should have, you have no problem probably with wine staging. But Wine Galleon Eye is just perfect. Okay, that's it. Let me exit to Windows. <laughs> and that's it. Hope it was helpful. As I said, go to Documents, My Games, The Saboteur, Save Games, and you will find a config.ini to modify and to set your native resolution and whatever you need to set graphical settings. Okay, that's it. I'll see you next time. Hope it was helpful. Bye-bye.